RF, radio frequency, safety training. RF safety training covers RF theory of operations, regulations and RF standards, types of radiation and field effect, maximum permissible exposure, MPE, at RF sites, RF safety signs, hazard assessment, lockout, tagout procedures and personal protective equipment. RF safety training is for anyone who may encounter RF fields or RF exposure, and is required training for employees and subcontractors in the telecommunications industry. What are radio frequency and microwave radiation? Electromagnetic radiation consists of waves of electric and magnetic energy moving together, that is, radiating, through space at the speed of light. Taken together, all forms of electromagnetic energy are referred to as the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves and microwaves emitted by transmitting antennas are one form of electromagnetic energy. They are collectively referred to as radio frequency or RF energy or radiation. Note that the term radiation does not mean radioactive. Often, the terms electromagnetic field or radio frequency field may be used to indicate the presence of electromagnetic or RF energy. The RF waves emanating from an antenna are generated by the movement of electrical charges in the antenna. Upon completion of the RF safety training course, the attendees will learn about RF theory of operation, RF site safety and the law, type of RF radiation, Introduction to Antennas and RF Sources Analyzing Maximum Permissible Exposure MPE. How to Begin Hazard Assessment Available Personal Protective Equipment PPE. RF Safety Models Learn more about RF theory of RF operations, RF safety regulations and standards. RF field measurements for antenna. Instrument overview. Detector designs. Effects and definitions. Standards overview. Antenna designs and calculations. Performing surveys. Documenting a survey. Units of measure. Shaped frequency response probes versus traditional flat frequency response probes measurement uncertainty and correction factors analog versus digital meters connecting and zeroing the probe checking probe functionality beginning to make measurements identifying high level areas first spatial averaging techniques using the maximum hold feature impact of the human body on field measurements Thank you.